Congratulations for buying your new audio CD recorder. The latest innovation from Philips, the company that invented CD technology. In five minutes, you'll learn how easy it is to make your own CDs. Check out this CD. I made it just for us, and I filled it with all our favorite tunes. On a CD? Mm-hmm. How did you manage that? Magic? <laughs> Not exactly. I had a little help from Philips. Philips? You know, that cool electronics company that makes the flat TV that we saw the other day. I remember right where we were. Oh, I love this song. Philips invented cassettes and CD technology, and now they've made CD recorders. And with just a push of a few buttons, it's so easy to make your own CDs. And Philips has done a super job of making it without. Okay, so I sound like techno geek on my romantic night out. What can I say? You know what? Philips is a cool company. And you gotta admit, I've made a great impression with that love song CD. And now I'll show you how you can make your own CDs in no time. Step one. You gotta have the right blank CDs. Don't grab the ones for the computer. Make sure you buy the kind for consumer use that says digital audio. Hey, if you don't see digital audio on the label, you'll be scratching your head later, because you know what? The CD's not gonna work. That bears repeating. Make sure you buy the kind for consumer use that says digital audio. Hey, if you don't see digital audio on the label, you'll be scratching your head later, because you know what? The CD's not gonna work. And get this, you'll find digital audio on two types of blank CDs. Recordable, which means you can record on this kind of disc only one time. But after you're done, you can play it on virtually any CD player. There's rewritable, which means you can record, erase, and re-record on this type of disc as many times as you want. But you can play it only on rewritable compatible CD players. The good thing is that all new Philips CD players on the market right now, including the one you just purchased, will play rewritable discs. Okay, you've got the right supplies, so let's get down to business. But keep in mind, I'm just gonna fill you in on the basics. I mean, there's a lot you can do with your new Philips audio CD recorder. And rather than go into that now, you might just wanna take a peek at your owner's manual after you're done watching this tape. Oh, one more thing. Depending on the exact model you just bought, the buttons might be positioned slightly different, but the names of the buttons are identical, and the recording process is essentially the same. All right. Pop open the CD changer drawer and load up the three CDs you like to copy from. The first two slots are available right away. And if you want to put in a third one, just hit the change CD button and the tray will rotate for you. Next, open the recorder drawer and stick in your blank CD. Now check it out. There's three buttons you can use to record a new CD. The CD to CD button lets you copy one entire CD in half the time. In other words, at double speed and it automatically finalizes your CD. The Compile CD button lets you program and record separate tracks from separate CDs at double speed. This button gives you the option to finalize the CD or to record more tracks later on. The Record Type button has a number of options, including two important ones that you can use to record one track at a time at double speed or at normal speed but this doesn't automatically finalize your new CD. You'll have to do this last step yourself. Now, you're probably saying, whoa, hold on a minute. But what does it mean to finalize your disc? Well, think of it this way. Finalizing is the machine's way of creating a table of contents for the CD you're recording. Does that seem technical? Okay, well, how about this? If you don't finalize, you can't play your new disc in any other CD player. That's a super important point, so you know what that means. Hey, hey, rewind the tape. If you don't finalize, you can't play your new disc in any other CD player. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Got it? Cool. Now, here's something else you got to remember. Once you finalize a recordable CD, you can't add any more tracks or make any changes. Your recording is locked in forever. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to repeat it again. I've got other ways of reminding you. On the other hand, you can re-record a rewritable CD, erasing and recording tracks on it again and again. Ready to go on? If you want to quickly record an entire CD at double speed, first hit the button for the CD you want to copy. 
through CD1, CD2, or CD3. Then press the CD to CD button. The light will ask you to verify your selection. Push the yes button and then sit back and watch the time on the display countdown. Your CD is being recorded and automatically finalized. When the recording indicator turns off, you know it's done. Now your new CD is ready to play on virtually any CD player. Just remember you can't make any changes at this point unless you're using a rewritable disc. Suppose you want to quickly compile at double speed a bunch of tracks from the disc you place in the CD changer tray. First, push the compile CD button. This will allow you to program in as many tracks as your blank CD will hold. Now press the button for the first CD you want to copy from CD1, CD2, or CD3. Then turn the jog control knob until you reach the track number you want. And once you've got it, press yes to confirm. Go ahead and continue to enter the rest of the tracks the same way. Press CD1, CD2, or CD3 to select the next disc that you want to copy from. Rotate the jog control knob to locate your track, then press yes. And after you've entered in all your tracks, just press the compile CD button, then push yes to confirm. The display will ask you whether you want to automatically finalize. If you don't want to record any more songs later on, Hit the yes one more time and relax. Your CD recorder is copying your tracks in the order you told it to. Or maybe you want to lay down one track at a time, but you don't want to do it all at once. That's when you use the third recording option, the record type button. Start with pressing the button for the CD you want to copy. Next, press the record type button. Then, turn the jog control knob to track fast if you want to record at double speed, or track listen if you want to listen while you record at normal speed. Then press yes to confirm. Turn the jog control knob again until you reach the track you want. Hit the yes button one more time and your track will start recording. And you can keep adding tracks the same way, either immediately or later on. Then once you've burned in all the tracks you want, you're done, right? No! You've got to finalize! I see you're catching on. Since the record type button doesn't automatically finalize, you've got to do it yourself. But it's easy. If you're happy with the new CD and you don't want to add any more tracks, just push the finalize button and then press yes to confirm. In about two minutes, you've got a CD ready to work in virtually any CD player. Okay, like I said before, there's plenty of stuff you can do with your new CD recorder. You know, like create a workout CD, or maybe some tunes for catching rays at the beach, a few favorites for the road, or a party disc. Hey, you can even key in the title of your CD and name each track. There's a record type option that lets you make CDs of those greatest hits cassettes, so your collections will never wear out. Or you can archive your LPs on CDs. LPs? What are those? Don't ask me, I, I didn't write this script. If you're a musician, you can lay down your tracks on CD using an external mixing board. Wait, 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 I got one. Invite your buds over, you know, plug in a mic, break out the 70s cuts, and put together a karaoke CD. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> got carried away. <laughs> but whatever you do, here's a tip. Before you even turn on your new CD recorder, read the instructions. Since you're dealing with the latest technology, you might want to make sure you don't miss some tiny step that'll trip you up. Okay, quick review. You know you've got to use only digital audio blank CDs, either recordable or rewritable, and you know how to record CDs three different ways, and you know how to finalize every CD you make. Congratulations, you've aced the lesson. So put a gold star on your forehead and get ready to make your first CD. Okay, one last piece of advice. If you run into any problems that the instructions aren't answering, don't take your CD recorder back to the store. Skip that hassle and simply call the Philips helpline. It's free and the experts on the other end of the phone will help you solve the problem on the spot. And in the meantime, bookmark the Philips website so you can stay up to date with your audio CD recorder and plenty of other Philips products. That's it. I'm out of here. Even though I'm a techno geek, I can't wait to see how my date turns out. So did I pick the right tunes for our one year of love song CD? Oh yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. 
In fact, I think I'm in love with your new CD recorder. I think I know what you mean. In fact, I think we're going to be enjoying our new Philips CD recorder for many, many years to come.